Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Rob aka Toronto Collector here with a special intro to the next video. The next video here was done Ju uh, July 1st, uh, 2020 here, Canada Day. So this is a special Canada Day edition of our June unveiling here, featuring some exciting pack of packages. So I hope everybody out there is staying safe, because remember, being safe is number one, nothing else matters. I hope you enjoy the video. Well, hello everybody out there in YouTube land. This here is Rob, aka Toronto Collector here. I'm joined in the studio here by my lovely girlfriend. Maria. And uh, this here is Happy Canada Day to all of our fellow Canadians and fellow Torontonians here. This here is July 1st, Wednesday, Canada Day. And that's why we are, we are wearing the appropriate headgear here to celebrate our nation's birthday here and I think Marie here looks absolutely adorable here in a Canadian bow I think she looks absolutely adorable there although the band should be a little further back just so you see the maple leaf a little better there but I think she looks absolutely adorable here in the bow here I'm sporting the um, fashionable Canada hat right there with the year that we became a country right there 1867 right there 1867 1867 is when we became a country there. Please remember that because that will be asked upon later on in this video there. So we are sporting today our Canadian headgear to celebrate our nation's birthday today. Canada today is 153 years old today. Look no, you don't look like a dog. You look adorable. I think she looks adorable, folks. What do you think? If you, if you think she looks adorable, please do comment down below. Uh, we we ha we tried to do this video before there, but we kind of got sidetracked there. I'm kind of running a little long here, and with my phone right here, I can't have the video running there too long there. So we're we'll doing it there, but I think she looks adorable. If there's space at the end of the video here, we'll include some of the bloopers uh, at the end of the video if there's time there. So to begin this video here, I want to myself give a big shout out and much love and and great big thanks to all of my fellow Ontarians and Torontonians. There, we did it. Our numbers got lower, and we achieved the one goal that maybe we uh, inadvertently didn't realize we were achieving here. We got chosen as one of the hub cities for the upcoming NHL season, Toronto at Edmonton. So much love and big thanks to all of my fellow Ontarians and my fellow Torontonians. We did it. We are one of the hub cities right there. So awesome guys and girls. Way to go. Our numbers here in Toronto are that low that the NHL and the NHLPA have chosen Toronto as one of the two hub cities to host the upcoming NHL season. That is awesome. As a hockey fan, I am tickled pink and my Canadian pride is really shining right there now today. The second shout out I have here is for all, of course, of course, to all of the essential workers out there who are continuing to do their job day in, day out, keeping all of us non-essentials safe, healthy, and fed. And that, in the shout out here also includes drivers and members of our media who are reporting how things are going in our city there. So much love, and please, everybody, do continue to stay safe out there. Remember, safety is number one. Nothing else matters. Marie, anything to add? Well, to my uh, family doctor mm -hmm. and my diabetic team. Mm -hmm. They keep me healthy. Yes, for sure there. And they're always available. At a, they're always a phone call away there. So awesome there. So to Maria's family doctor and my family doctor who haven't seen in a year and a half there. Much love. Please, I hope you all stay safe out there. They'll have the heart symbol here. Mm -hmm. Well, much love. I hope you all stay safe out there. Please remember to stay safe. So this video here is going to have a giveaway later on in the video there. All you have to do is answer a trivia question there, which I've already given the answer to. The answer here is associated with 
the hat here I'm wearing here. The, an the answer is right on the hat right there. So what you can win in this giveaway here, if you saw my Instagram handle of Toronto8399, you know that what I'm doing, what I'm giving away is I'm giving away one of four Canadian beach balls here to anybody in Canada or the US as long as I can contact you and get your mailing address here. I'll give it, I'll send it to you free of charge. All you have to do is answer a trivia question here down below or email it to me. And you can be one of four winning one beach ball per person right there. So you can enjoy it there on your next trip out there to the beach. Each beach ball is 14 inches in diameter, so it's not a big one, but it'd be a fun one to enjoy, uh, to enjoy even with the kids. You know, kids love beach balls, so when you, you, all you have to do is answer the, the trivia question later on in this video here, and you can be one of four winning one of these beach balls. So, uh, to continue on with the video here, um, we are big Funko fans, as, as you can see behind us here. One of these days, we will do a video of Maria's. Uh, Funko collection there in the bedroom there. She's getting quite an extensive collection herself partially thanks to me, but uh, She really loves uh, Harry Potter and um, Other ones you love the little mermaid and uh, what else do I like? I Harlequin Harlequin mm -hmm. and, uh, Care Bears mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. So she's getting quite a collection yeah, so she's getting quite a collection in there as well there. Uh, figures that uh, I don't go down the rabbit hole of. I don't go down the rabbit hole of, of Harry Potter or other ones like that there. I love different ones there. But we each love what we love. And that's and that's it there. So one of these days, uh, maybe I'll, I'll shoot, take some pictures or maybe shoot a short video clip of Maria's ever-growing Funko collection. In the meantime, during this video here... Um, I'm going to show you here some more Packa Packa sort of cash that we picked up at our, at our not local EB Games because unfortunately our local EB Games has closed up. We were shocked to hear a couple weeks ago that they were closing and we went to shop at our local EB Games just around the corner from where we live and I went there and this is how I got most of my collection here from our local EB Games and we were shocked to hear that they're closing up. Because there are two other locations not really close to here that are open, they're still open. And when we heard they're, they're closing, we're like, oh no. And all the stock there is going to be shipped to one of the other stores there. So uh, they are now closed as of yesterday. Or uh, at least closed as of yesterday. I think the, even the sign is even down. The sign is even down. What's that? I think it was last week. Yeah. The sign is even down on the storefront there. So we wanted to get the pack of pack of soda cats here. So I went to another. EB Games here, and in case you can't remember, EB Games is our version of GameStop. And I understand but there by another well-known YouTuber here that his local GameStop is closing. So I hope that doesn't mean that GameStop slash EB Games is closing up. Mm -hmm. I hope not there. Because I went out there shopping yesterday there, and I went out there to see one of our local malls here in East End Toronto to see what stores were open there. And I would say out of about 100 stores in that mall, only about 15 to 20 were open. And one of them was my salon. One of was Maria's salon there. It's open there. She's going to be going getting her hair done this coming Saturday there. So next time she appears on video there, she'll, she'll have her hair colorized and, and maybe a little bit trimmed there. So she'll be, be very happy with that. I went to... Uh, to look at, at a local Hot Topic location in that mall. But unfortunately, it's still closed. It's not quite ready to open yet. Toronto here is in still in stage 2, but our numbers here are much lower. So without further ado, as the French would say, we I went to a local EB Games here, and what I got for you here was some very exciting... If I have time to it here, I will get to some more... If I have time for it, some more... NHL Mystery Minions, which I got there, if there's time for that one there, but it probably won't be. Oh. And I uh, mentioned here about the what you can get, what you can win for the giveaway there. I mentioned those already. So now, getting into what you want to see, which is we got some more of these lovely soda uh, pack a pack of soda cats here, and we got one, two, three, four. Five. Watch it. Don't let them roll. Yeah, my, my balls are going to roll on, on the table here. Six. And then right now, I was saying, get on with it. Seven. I am getting on with it. Eight. Nine. 
And finally, 10. Yeah, we and have, my bank, my, it was my bank card who bought all this. Yes, indeed there. Uh, well, we bought 10 uh, Soda Cat. Uh, our EB Games had them on buy one, get one free list. So we bought 10 of them, but we only paid for five of them right there, which is very good. Right back. So yes, welcome back here. So yes, we bought uh, ten of the pack, a more t pack a pack of soda cats there. We uh, uh, was gracious enough to buy them there because uh, with my limited income right now, I, I couldn't afford them at the moment now because this is all pay week there for me there. But we did get ten of them there. So Maria, there's one in there for you. Oh great! Now I know. And there's one there for me there. So I see these these here were ten dollars each. But they, but they were buy one, get one free. So we have 10 of these uh, pack a pack of soda, soda caps to open here. And the trick here is to open here. I do have my knife standing by in case we need it. This is a knife we use here in case we need it. Do you need yours? Okay, there's one. There's that one you can take there. And uh, I know there's probably a trick to opening these things here. We've opened six of them so far here, but don't know what exactly what the trick is. So uh, by the time I can ask anybody to comment down below because we're opening them right now. So by the time we see it, we'll go, oh, there's the there's the answer. And by the time we we see it down below, we will have already opened them. Anyways, I'm gonna cheat here. I'm gonna cheat here a little bit by using the knife and cheat here a little bit. So anyways, here there is. These, uh, for those of you who, who may not know, may not see a, see a previous video, these are soy cats that are made by Funko. They're made by Funko. So, let's see Marie opening hers here. <laughs> yeah, right. Remember, just sweet, get it vertical there, squeeze it, squeeze it one side. Okay, that's the way to do it too, yeah. You want me to hold it for you? Okay, and you got which one? Dr. Purper. Dr. 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 Purper? Okay, yeah. cool. Dr. I think Purper. we already have that one. Yeah. One second, I gotta get a list. And welcome back here. Yeah, we do have a list here of our previous soda cats here. And we did check off right there on that side which ones that we already got there. So, <coughs> pardon me. I do believe it's yeah. Dr. Purper right down there, I believe. Yep. So, Dr. Purper is a dupe. So uh, we might be giving uh, that one away in a future uh, video there. We're not sure there, but stay tuned to the channel here. We'll let you know. So my first uh, soda cat on, on opening here. You want to open another one? There you go, another one. Great. You know so, I hate these. These are annoying. So, oh, 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 what do I have here? We oh, have that one. Uh, another. Oh, I, wait, I didn't show. I didn't hold up yours. So this is. Dr. Purper, which for us here is a dupe, right there. This one I got here is another dupe here. This is Mountain Mew. That's another dupe right there for us. We already have that one. So, it happens, you know, when you open up multiple cases like this, uh, you're bound to get duplicates. Of course, you're bound to get them. You're bound to get them. And while Marie opens up hers, I'll put her her first one here away. Which one did you get there? I think it's Perpsy. But the Perpsy or Diet Perpsy? Oh, what's one? See, Diet per see Perpsy is Perpsy is a red cap. Diet Perpsy is a blue cap. This is a silver cap. Silver cap. Okay. I think it's a I think I think it's a Perpsy then. I don't have my reading glasses on, so I can't tell. It may be one. It may it's be a Chase. It may be one of the Chase versions. Yes. Cool. It may be Chase. Hit right here. The white, a white perpsy right here. That's what you pulled out right there. And according to the sheet right down here, I think it might be that one right down there, which is a Chase version. It might be that one right there. Very yeah. good. We will we will look at it further here off camera here, and um, we will let you know uh, in in an upcoming video or comments or whatever. So my next um, this is our, our current cat. This is our current sheet there. So in the next one here, we have 
Remember we bought, uh, we got 10 for, for parts of 5. We've opened up 2, 3. This is the fourth one here so far. We're opening up here now, our fourth one. I'm glad you helped yourself though. I'm glad, I'm glad you did that. Very good. Don't wait for me. Don't wait for no stinking man to give you a ball. And not a seal. No. No. You're my girlfriend here to live my life here in Toronto. Aww. Mm. Aww. That's one thing you don't see enough of in YouTube here is affection. <gasps> so anyways, here, here's my next one. Oh, oh. You get the... Oh, Jesus. You got the alien. Sweet Jesus, I praise the Lord. Thank you. Cool. Got the alien. Oh my God, that's so cool. Yes, that's so cool here. The alien here is a one, one in 36 chance right there, and I got him. Or him or her, whichever it is. Oh my god. I got the one in 36 right there. Amazing. I got the one in 36. No disputing that one, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I got the one in 36 right there. That's so cool. Oh my god. Another. I definitely won't be giving that one away. That one would definitely be going to Marie's collection. Which one did you get there? I think it's another Perpsy. Uh, that's a Diet Perpsy, I believe. One second, I get my, get, my, get my glasses. And welcome back. So now I have my glasses on here, so now I, I look like a real idiot here now. Not saying people with gla wearing glasses look like idiots. No. Oh, heck no. I just do. But hey, uh, I I see, I've seen a lot of people out there, including even Maria, who looks very cool and sexy wearing glasses, but I'm not one of them. So, these are just reading glasses anyway here. So, let me see this one here. Yes, that's a Diet Perpsy. Is it? That's a Diet Perpsy oh, right there. we don't there. have that one yet. No, we don't have that one yet. That is a Diet Perpsy here. I think it's a common, but it's a Diet Perpsy. So, very cool right there. That's very cool. So, where's, where's the... That's the egg there for you there. We like to keep things neat here in the studio. And by putting it away here, so... Maria here can go ahead and open up another one while I'm putting this one here away. I can be a little off camera, it's okay. That's cool. Yes! The alien. We actually got an alien here. Wait, wait, was, in, was he in this one here? No, he, he, um, he went back to Mars. I think he went back to Mars, yeah. <laughs> or back to where we came from. What? Well, no. <laughs> He's there somewhere. Back to where we came from. Why don't we go back to where oh, there we, we came there from? There he is, right there. I'll leave that one out there because that is very cool. That is very cool. Get any alien right there. That's very cool. Leave that one out. That's very cool. Okay, so now we've opened one, two, three, four, five, six. So, so those the, the, the people with basic masculines, we bought ten. We've opened six. So how many we have left? Okay, so here we go. I'll turn the camera back around so it's evil, even now both of us here. So, we went right, right along here. I hate those. Well, you know, I think Funko. When you if when you do make more of these um these these, these figures here and you do package them in this way, please do all of us a favor and and create and put on the packaging here a definite pull tab, well, we so we don't have to uh, feel around to find out where it is. We got another one we don't have. Which Purple it? pop. Oh, okay. Which one is that? Purple pop. Oh, purple pop died down here. Yeah. Well, that's what we got. Next one we got here. Right there, purple pop right there. Awesome. It's glittery. Glittery? Oh, that's kind of glittery. Okay. Right there, purple pop right there. Awesome. Okay, you want to put them back in the egg there? Get them nice. I, I say egg there, for lack of a better term. I don't know what it is. But ball. Ball, egg, whatever. Yep. Okay, so my next one here. We have three left. Who was it? Another purple pop. Huh. Yeah, another purple pop. So we're probably going to get these. We're probably going to get a lot of dupes right here. No big deal. So the dupes we get here, we're probably going to be giving them away in the future. Probably. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Did I break it? I hope not. No. I hope not. No, I didn't break it. Maria's not used to playing with balls that much. Shut up. So anyways. Eh. One more for you. Uh, what, what? Yeah, I guess one more, one more for you there. So we have to be even here. So you get open up that, open up that one here. 
And ladies and gentlemen here, when you put these figures back in these containers, if you do that there, be leery out of two things. The straw. And the tail. Straw right there. And the tail right down there. It sounds kind of, it sounds like maybe dirty for me to say watch out for the tail, but really these cats <laughs> do have a tail. And you have to watch out for it there because you don't want to put them back in these eggs. If you do choose to put them back in the egg, back in the balls, you don't want to put them back in, the, in these containers uh, the wrong way. Due to the fact that you can break off the tail. It's happened to us already once. Yes. And you see, this one, this one here is giving me a bit of an attitude ah. here. Although some might, some might be saying the video right now, well, why are you putting back in the ball for it anyways? Just to keep everything neat. So, this ball, no, this ball will not close. There we go. It will, it will, I was just going to say it won't close and it closed. There we go. These balls are my favorite color. Yes, purple. She loves purple balls. I love purple. Giggity. It's my burst on. Yes, she does love purple. I can vouch for that. There, some of her jewelry right there. Bracelets that I got here for for a couple Christmases are definitely purple, uh, containing her birthstone, and her earrings too, containing her birthstone, which is February. That's not the birthstone. Amethyst. Amethyst. Yes, the amethyst birthstone. Okay. So her next uh, ball here to even up here I, is. I don't know. Give yep. Me a minute. We still have two more balls left after this, so... Oh, here we go with the... You've been doing fine so far. You've been doing just fine so far. Yeah, well... 30 years later. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, well, oh, yeah, we got another cappuccino there. Another cappuccino. Yep. Cappuccino right there. As they, a, a lot of these here are different designs here, so not always the same way there, but it's like Cat Pacino right there. That's not bad. So, okay, so we have two left. One for you, one for you, and one for me. And then if there's time, I'll get into some NHL mission means. If there's time, I'm sure probably, by now, probably people who are not into hockey are saying, oh, no, hey, what you want? Okay, we'll take your own then. Well, I'm going to take my price of here, so there's two left, one for each of us. Oh, damn it. Okay, well, price sticker, price sticker both there. Yeah, I think you can tell that. I think, I think when uh, EB Games makes a price sticker, though, I think they make up their own stickers right there because this looks like store made right there. Instead of having the Funko barcode, which is right there, on all of their items, I think EB Games adds their own price sticker that probably they probably have it like that over top of the Funko barcode so they can scan it into the computers. Because this this sticker here looks homemade and it comes off very easily. So I think they have their own price stickers right there, you know, or corporate does send them like that. I don't know. So anyways, our last two soda cats unveiling right here, right here, right now, at 22 minutes. Our last two. Another cat, Pacino. You're kidding me! Another one? Wow. Okay. Another cat, Pacino. So I think we will, suffice it to say, we'll probably be giving a couple of these away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We There's only a... need one. Yeah, another cappuccino. So we have, what, three little by now? We got three. Okay, there you go. So my, my last um, Let's hope it's not a cat soda cat right Pacino. here is... What is it? Oh. Something. Oh, right on. King right Cola. Right on. I'm not getting away with this one here. This is the first of our... Kitty Cola. Colas, right there. A very cool one, right there. No pun intended, but Cola is cool. Right there, our, our Kitty Cola right there. And that is the one right up here that we do not have right there yet. So, that is that, that is very cool right there. Okay, Bob, don't give me an So, attitude. there we go. We'll be right back. And welcome back there. So, yes, we have... Um, I unveiled all of our 10 Soda Cats here, and we do have a couple originals here, but mostly what we have are dupes here. But we are very happy to get the 1 in 36, um, what's it, what it called? Well, they don't name it there, but it looks like an alien anyway. Like that. We're very happy to get that one there, and happy, happy as well to get a couple of the other ones there. So we will probably be giving the dupes away there. So if you want to contact us and find out if we are giving, giving them away, I'll probably be putting it on Instagram uh, at some point there when we decide what we're going to be doing here. So our Instagram handle here is Toronto 
8399 Toronto 8399 you can also get a hold of us at uh, my email address which is Toronto collector at yahoo.ca Toronto collector all one word all lowercase Toronto collector at yahoo.ca that's how I contact us and now the trivia question for today's giveaway here which you can win one of four one one of four Canadian beach balls here the question is what year did Canada become a country I mentioned it at the beginning of the video here I even showed it here on my hat if you've been watching my hat the answer is right on my hat right up there what year did Canada become a country this today is Canada Day July 1st we are 153 years young today so if you want more to do the math backwards there what year did Canada become a country please do comment down below if you want to win one of these one of one of four Canadian beach balls there you can comment down below what year Canada became a country and if I can contact you through email or Instagram, or whatever, to get your mailing address, I will ship out one, one per person of four Canadian Beach Balls here for free anywhere in Canada or the United States. If you want to win one of these fashionable beach balls, the only thing I ask of the winner when I mail it there to you, if you have a YouTube channel or if, if, if you don't have a YouTube channel, take a picture holding up your Canadian Beach Ball there, especially if you have a YouTube channel, please do show this in your upcoming video so I know that you got it, okay? And if you're not on, um, on uh, YouTube here, Please do take a picture of it there, and I can give you my text. I can give you my cell number, so you text me a picture of you holding up your beach ball there, just to make sure you have it there. So that is how you can win the, the beach ball there. One of four. Answer the trivia question: What year did Canada become a country? I said this answer many times in the video there. So good luck to all of you out there. I hope, we have hope you've enjoyed watching this video there. Stay tuned for our next video here, which I will be unveiling more pops. And some NHL mission means we didn't have time to get through this video there, but uh, we've had a great time. I think you, you had a good time there too? Yeah. We had a great time here doing the video. Much love again to all of our fellow Canadians out there celebrating Canada's 153 years young as a nation there. So this is Rob, a.k.a. Toronto Collector. Maria. And Maria. Thank you, thank you all very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video there, please, and you haven't already done so yet, please down below and to our, uh, to our left there, click the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon there so you're notified about future videos there. Please do give us a thumbs up. Please feel free to comment down below as to how you think we look with our headgear. And the answer to a trivia question, what year did Canada become a country? Please do comment down below and be sure I can contact you. Contact us at Toronto Collector at yahoo.ca and I'll be giving you one of four beach balls to four lucky winners with the, with the right answer. So thank you all very much for watching. Much love everybody out there to everybody out there in Canada, US. Anything to add? Nope. Okay, so this is Robin AK Toronto Collector and Maria saying thank you all very much for watching. Everybody please stay safe. Take care. See you soon.